October 20th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Ace Attorney, um, episode three, Turnabout Samurai, the final day. This is Sylvia. So, last time, we investigated and we found out that D. Vasquez is the one that killed her, killed poor Hammer. And we just don't know how she did it yet, but we'll, we'll, we'll have to prove it. And she's part of the mafia and she almost erased us and Gunshu saved us at the very last minute. So now it's time to do battle with D. Vasquez. So if you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. Isn't Gumshoe awesome? All right, let's get to it. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be final day of this trial. I hope both of the prosecutions and the defense will be able to present the divisive, decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. Hi, Edgy boy. In yesterday's session, the defense president presented us with a new theory of the case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today, I will call on people presented, present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm. Very well. It sure seems a bit on edge today. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecutor calls Miss D. Vasquez to stand. Miss D. Vasquez is the producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. She looks like she's a member of the Mafia. Look at her. Will the witness say her name and occupation? D. Vasquez, I'm a producer for Scoble Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. I dislike needless banter. If you must, uh, 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 pontificate, do it when I'm not here. <sighs> but very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. Naughty, naughty, Phoenix. Day of the murder. I hit the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp and ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the eat meeting. Sal and ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to the Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm. There's a van at Studio Two. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk with, uh, what with Monkey's head toppling over. So she left. So see, look, they did leave. Manella used this van to drive Vasquez to Studio One after the meeting in the trailer. I, I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Damn I ended the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp and ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I asked, had Cell take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Cell and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Okay. The same as the steak. Ha! As I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak, but I say you did not. Well, what's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. It, as you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Ms. Vaquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. There's no bones. Yet, there are no bones left on the plate. The plates were bare. Ms. Vasquez, tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You ate the bone, too. You ate a boneless steak. You didn't eat the steak. 
You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like the incinerator. I, I see. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Me and the Soul Samurai picking on Salmonella. Me and the Soul Samurai. She was meeting with the Soul Samurai. Order! Uh, are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer at to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai, and then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. We got her. But Mr. Wright, isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Wright? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it. Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let's let us have a battle of wits, you and I. She totally did it. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was the murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? I think you could. You couldn't, could you? I think you, I think you would have a great deal of difficult using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Ha! You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning... The, seal, the samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? Yeah, we got her. What's the meaning of this? The spear was found laying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the seal samurai spear was the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. Cause it's broke, right? I present my proof: the so-called murder weapon. But but that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that the spear broke during the morning action scene run through, but someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Uh huh. Order, order. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're. Silence. I'm the one testifying here and I'll be heard. Fluffle, are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Hammer? I can tell you. I can't tell you. I can tell you. Yeah. Would I, uh, would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the word weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Fluffle. Judge? Very well. Let's see what this murder weapon was then. Uh, where is it? Right here. Look at this photo. What is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Order, order. If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very incident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a closed kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it. See the fallen man in the photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What? What are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago happened again. Has happened again. Yep. Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss Steve Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio tra 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had told, just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Though, whenever, she, though, whatever, 
Though whether she did on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. Uh, in other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Yep. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Ho ho. Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny that what I say is true. Mr. Wright. Let's say for the sake of argument that a hammer died at the trailer, as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil monastery's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One? And returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to the studio one and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? She couldn't have dealt with it. I bet she could move it. She had another way. What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance... Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. And interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. The van! Oh! Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One. And you used the Studio Van to do it! Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the uh, Magistrate costume. Hold on, right? Don't forget it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspir uh, conspirator? He, of course he was. Of course he was. Of course he was. Of course, Sal Manella has been had to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? She, oh, she's angry. Look at her. No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Hmm. I lose. You win. It was fun. I win? I'm confused. Um, so what happens next? Don't question me. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Uh, I lost something like that. I just said that. Wait, so you mean, D. Vasquez, so it was you? You killed Jack Hammer? We're all stunned and confused. Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You like decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Order. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Um, uh, hmm. Of course it is, as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it. But, uh, there's no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you know my first questions, I'll be leaving. Ugh, what do I do now? You did it, Vasquez. Testify again, Vasquez. Yeah, yeah she's a witness. We have to have her testify again. I I'd like you to testify again. Testify again. No one to give up, Mr. Wright. 
Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh, you ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Fluffle! Fluffle! To come so far only to fail. As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness being about this. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. I was hoping to come up with a question while I was ejecting your honor. <laughs> I didn't. I see very well. No, no, your honor. I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. <laughs> I, I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, your honor? <laughs> I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes, Mr. Edgeworth. I too see a little point in making Miss Vesca repeat herself. What exactly do you want her to testify about? Um, well, yes, um, indeed. Verily, I say, ergo, I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. <sighs> Nick? What did Edgeworth? Who knows? He probably realized she did it too. But, but, wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that, Edgeworth. After finding the body. He knows, as you knows that he did, she did it. I was with Sal and Olbeck, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police. The power showed up. The security lady, Olbag, was quite agitated, pointing at power, saying, He did it! I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Hmm. I see no issue raised by this testimony. Mr. At your cross-examination? Okay, Nick. We're close to... We're close. We're close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. After fun I, I was with Sal Olbeck, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there, too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police and the Powers showed up. The security lady Olbeck was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying, He did it! I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer and got my script and the direction notes. The script and your direction notes. Yes, they were quite valuable. It wouldn't have to, uh, I wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Press harder. But didn't we give her, her the script? Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm. Very well. Miss Vasquez, please continue. How would she know there was a murder? Your Honor, I have an objection to that witness last statement. Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez says she didn't bring the script because there would, wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have to have known about the murder before going to Studio One. Yeah, because she did it. Order, order. Mr. Edgeworth? What have you just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to the fence? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court seems my role here. Now, Ms. Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Hmm. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? Exactly! But edgy boy, he's edgy boy. No matter, I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well, the witness will change her testimony to reflect the worst reason. I knew the hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left, I left them behind. Um, this one. Right. You knew that a hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? 
I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. What? What? Mr. Rat, explain yourselves. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo, but that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. For pretending, one person was injured in the run through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why do you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? Because she killed him? Uh, I already said it was Sal who told me. That That's right. He must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez, you heard Manella wrong. You saw Hammer limping. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his light too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! And when he was doing this? Well, it would have got to it would have to it would have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Order, order. I'll have order, witness. Can you refute this claim? Hmm. Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Ugh. Why are the real killers always so persistent? Because they're jerks. Why is the world why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he's fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason it is unclear to, to this court. Does the fence have anything to say in this matter? In other words, can you prove that she had a motive? Of course I can prove it. It's the it's the photo, right? Okay. I can prove I have proof and I'll show you. I present to the court evidence that's Miss Vasquez's motive to this murder. This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Mm. Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was in the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the rug. Ladies and gentlemen, the case is currently up for trial. I began on the day five years ago. Ironically enough, the accident uh, pre uh, precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Hmm. Bringing us to the persistent the present day in Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil minister. Yes, undoubtedly, it was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. Are we talking about motives here? Yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... As if... It was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would D. Vasquez, what, what motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of uh, useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. Real evidence. She has no motive. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? What? Your Honor. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. 
Jackhammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jackhammer wore the costume to fool the security lady to think he was Powers. Then Jackhammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. I was going to say, did she not snap her pipe? Then she did. But she's mad now. So, you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance. The, there's blood everywhere. We're too late. Ah, Miss Vasquez. What? What happened here? Manuela fell from the... Man Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel! Manuel! Miss Vasquez, please, try to remain calm. No! No! How could this... It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and... No! Manuel! Manuel! Don't, don't, don't touch him, Miss Vasquez! No! Please! Please don't die! Please! Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose. Again. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, where's Steve Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. <laughs> uh, thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes. Yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, not guilty. Yay! <laughs> that is all. The court is adjourned. October 20th, 1 12 p.m., District Court Defendant Lobby, number three. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez, but to think that he tried to frame me for the murder, it makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... The shove it in your face! Is because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai. Mr. Hammer was a big star once. But he was reduced to acting in a kid's show and was the villain to boot. The kids love the Steel Samurai. And so, he hated you. I, I think I understand. He, he could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's over now. So am I. Oh, so am I. Congratulations, WP. Oh, oh, hee <laughs> hee. Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into the sweaty costume and... Is something wrong? No, uh, of course not. Ah! N Nick Edgeworth? Say something right. Why are we staring at each other? I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, don't do you? No, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away with it way if you hadn't stopped in. And, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. I, er, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar. Right? I must say, I don't, haven't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings? Oh, edgy boy. Yes, unease and uncertainty. 
Aren't those kind of unnecessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix, right? Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. The edgy boy? Um, Mr. Wright. Was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if. They're rivals. Rivals, right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick. Tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? And so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was a talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. Pink Princess. Nick. This is it. The new show starts today. You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and the assistant. Fine, fine. I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? He gets to fit into that? <laughs> I wonder if they'll show his real f face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real W pa Will Powers. Pink Princess. The end. Alright. If you enjoyed that episode, please hit the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. It is greatly appreciated. Till next time when we do it. Episode 4. Bye!